Hello, and thank you for stopping by. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. If you are not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when new videos arrive. I want to talk to you about a subject that may be lost on a lot of people. I'm curious to find out how many people realize America's history. Not the history that we've been led to believe is history, but our foundation. America is 245 years old. To some people that seems like a long time, but to others that's a relatively short period. America was founded 245 years ago as a country. In this 245 years, we have lost our way. What I mean to say is that America is no longer what it was set up to be. The reason I'm bringing this up is because do we waste time fighting a battle that we can't win? I was watching a TV series earlier this morning called The Murdoch Mysteries. And I happen to like that show quite a lot. And within that show, The Murdoch Mysteries, it brought up a question of how things are done and how things should be done. And do people care? I'm going through a dilemma. I have been taken to court several times due to driving without a license. Not that I've had a driver's license and it's been taken from me, but I have never ever gotten a driver's license because I believe that I am not a driver. I am a traveler in an automobile that is moving from place to place. Now, before you go off and say, oh, you're one of those, listen to what I'm saying. Now, although, although I do believe that we have the right to travel, the right of locomotion using the mode of transportation of the day, although I believe that is a right, and I believe that the founding fathers set up that right for a particular reason due to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, I'm begged, I am stuck asking this question. Do we try to put America back on track the way the Founding Fathers intended, or will it disrupt the apple cart as we know it? There's a lot of people that have become rich off of the way America has become. And are they willing to forsake their riches to go back to America's foundation? You have a lot of people in the world that believe that America is the way the Founding Fathers wanted it to be. You have a lot of people that misinterpret the Founding Fathers' wishes. You have a lot of people that misinterpret the Constitution. Um, we have people pushing democracy. And Thomas Jefferson said that democracy is nothing more than mob rule, where 51% of the population can take away the rights of the other 49. And we're starting to see that now because in certain states, they are starting to do away with voting rights, which means that the ones that they want to vote will be the ones that will be allowed to vote. And the, since the states are sovereign and the states are supposed to um, do what's in the best interest of their citizens, and the federal government is not really supposed to step in where it's not warranted, how do we fix that? Do we want to fix it? Now, America was set up as a republic. Um, people will say it's a democratic republic, but that's an oxymoron. One cancels out the other. Democracy is like mob rule. 
republic is what does the Constitution say? Does the Constitution say you can legally do this? Or does the Constitution say you can't legally do this? I personally believe that the Constitution is written in such a way that no matter how populated America gets, or no matter how old America gets, if we use the Constitution the way it was originally written, and we don't have amendments that cancel out other amendments, which is what we're doing, I believe that the Constitution will work just fine even for another 245 years down the road. Now, do people care? Am I fighting an uphill battle? I am asking myself this all the time. Do I fight for something that I don't know for sure I can win? Like my driver's license, for instance. My sister, well, why don't you just go get a driver's license? Or my mom, oh, you've gotten a driver's license, right? I believe that an automobile, which was created as a pleasure automobile, that can also be used for business purposes, but it was not created for that. An automobile is a contrivance. It is a thing that was skillfully and inventively created for a particular person, for a particular purpose. And I believe that the automobile was created for us to move around from place to place, the store, the theater, um, the fair, you know, other places, uh, yard sales, things that allow us to have a better quality of life while pursuing our happiness and a, and a better quality and liberty without being able to move around and go places we have no liberty. We're not free. We're stuck. They say, oh, you can take a plane. Well, yes, you can, but a plane is not mine. I do not own that. A train, I can be taken, but I do not own that. You can be stopped from taking a train. You can be stopped from taking a plane or a bus because it is privately owned. When you own your automobile, it is your private property and you are supposed to be allowed by law to take that wherever it goes, wherever you want to take it. But the states have figured out a way to stop that. Now, my quandary is, do I go along with it? Do I say, well, this is the way it is, times have changed, or do I fight a battle that I could never win? Now, I could spend the rest of my life fighting, saying, no, I'm not getting a driver's license, but then again, I will never be able to get an automobile again either, unless I buy it used and it's cheap and it falls apart. My last automobile I had was a 2000 Windstar minivan, a Ford Windstar minivan. I was in love with that thing and I used it for about three years. But I got ticket after ticket after ticket by the Veterans Administration Police because that is where I am jurisdicted at. And I believe that they wrote me a ticket outside of their jurisdiction, but I was unable to prove that because the ones that have the money are the ones that make the rules. So, do we keep fighting an uphill battle or do we work within the system as it is now? Do we try to change the system back into what it's supposed to be or do we just accept the fact that it's always going to be the way it is now? What do you think? Do you care? Do you have any ideas on this? Have you given it any thought? If so, please put your comment in the comments below. Let me know what you think about that. Uh, if you would like to give my video a thumbs up, please do so. Um, also hit that like and subscribe button so you can be notified when new videos arrive. Also uh, um, hit the 
uh, bell icon so you can be notified. Um, is this as good as it gets? Is this the way America is going to be for the rest of humanity? Or are we going to see the error of our ways and put ourselves back on track? They keep passing laws that say, no, America is the way it is and that's the way it's going to stay. Do we keep it that way or do we resist? Again, if you have any ideas, put them in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. I'm going to let you go on this note. Remember, make tomorrow better than yesterday by doing the very best we can today. Have a good day, America, and all points beyond.